Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 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 Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King, and bow down before him. Come, let us worship Christ, God, our King, and bow down before him. Come, let us worship Christ, our King, and our God, and bow down before him. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea. And in your righteousness answer me, and enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old, I meditated on all your deeds, I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you, like a parched land my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have put my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and in your righteousness answer me, and enter not into judgment with your servant. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, most your holy, blessed, Theotokos, and glorious save lady, us. the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To the Lord. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give the glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy out a loss how to defend ourselves we sinners offer you as master this entry 
Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. For it is in you we have put our trust. Do not be sorely provoked with us, nor remember our transgressions. For even now regard us out of compassion and ransom us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we your people, all of us shaped by your hands, and it is your name we invoke. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Open to us, blessed Theotokos, the gateway to your tender-heartedness. Setting our hope in you, may we not be disappointed. Through you may we be spared all adversities, for you are the salvation of the Christian people. Have mercy upon me, O God, in your greatness of your love and the abundance of your tender mercies. Wipe out my offense. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I am well aware of my iniquity and my sin is before me always. It is you alone I have offended. I have done what is evil in your sight. Wherefore you are justified in your charges and triumphant in your judgment. Behold, I was born in iniquities and in sins my mother conceived me. But you are a lover of truth. You have shown the hidden wisdom, the hidden depths of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be pure. Cleanse me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear sounds of joy and feasting. The bones that were afflicted shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my offenses and wipe out all of my sins. A spotless heart created me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit in my breast. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your blessed spirit out of me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Let your guiding spirit dwell in me. I will teach your ways to the sinner and the wicked shall return to you. <clears throat> Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, my saving God, and my tongue will joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall de declare your praise. Had you desired sacrifice, I would have offered it, but you will not be sacrificed with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a crushed and humbled heart. God will not spurn. In your kindness, O Lord, be bountiful to Zion. May the walls of Jerusalem be restored. Then you will delight in proper oblation and sacrifice and whole burnt offerings. And then they shall offer calves upon your altar. <clears throat> o Master unfailing, you gladden us mortals, body and soul. With the oil of your loving kindness, safeguarding the faithful with it. Will you now have compassion on us as through the oil we approach you? Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. Master, the entire earth is filled with your mercy. Therefore, as we are mystically anointed, with the holy oil today in faith we ask of you that we be shown your surpassing mercy glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit in your kindness you commanded the apostles to perform your sacred anointing on your afflicted servants through their intercessions O loving god Seal us all with your tender mercy. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Your one you alone brought in the gulf of peace by your perpetual intercessions with God. Free your supplicants from illness and distress that we may unceasingly magnify you. As the only one who is wonderful and merciful to those who believe, show your heavenly grace 
to those sorely afflicted. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. In your divine condescension, Lord, you once announced by means of an olive branch that the flood had abated. In your goodness, save the ailing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O Christ, in your goodness, with the torch of divine light, gladden those who, trusting in your mercy, come now to be anointed. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Mother of the Creator of all, look kindly on us from above, and by your prayers release the ailing from bitter distress. Mm, as a divine river of mercy, as a fathomless gulf of loving kindness, let your mercy flow, O compassionate one, and heal all. Let the miraculous wellsprings gush forth abundantly and cleanse all forever, turning to you with fervor. We beg your grace. Physician and help of those in pain, Redeemer and Savior of the sick, Lord and Master of all, grant healing to your afflicted servants. Pity and show mercy to those who have heard, pray grievously and absolve them. Christ of their failings, that they may glorify your divine power. Like the imperishable myrrh that is poured out in grace, to cleanse the world, show mercy and pity to those whose bodily wounds are anointed in faith. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. Having signed the bodily senses of your servants with the radiant seal of your mercy, Master, render them inviolate and impervious to all adverse forces. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O loving Lord, you commanded the sick to call for your divinely ordained priests, that through their prayers and anointing with your oil, they may be made whole. In your loving kindness, deliver the suffering. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O holy ever virgin Theotokos, my strong fortress and guardian, haven and bastion, ladder of escape to the heavenly city. Show mercy and compassion, for in you alone have we sought refuge. Righteous and merciful one, in your love out of your fathomless mercy, show compassion on all who suffer. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. Having sanctified a soul and body by the divine impress of your heavenly seal, heal us all by your hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit as you accepted the anointing with myrrh by the harlot in your ineffable love. O most gracious Lord, have pity on these your servants. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. 
Oh, praise the gracious lady. Show mercy to those who are anointed with the holy oil and safeguard your supplicants. Now and forever, by your oracles, O loving Lord, you ordained the anointing of kings and by your seal performed it through the high priest in your mercy. Say the afflicted. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. Let no malignant spirits assail those whose senses have been signed by divine anointing, but enfold them in the shelter of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Extend your hand from on high, O loving Lord. And sanctify this oil, O Savior. Give it to your supplicants for healing and relief from all sickness. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In your holy birth, as mother of the Creator, you prove to be a fruitful olive tree. From it the whole world is fed with mercy. By your prayers, touch the ailing and preserve them. As the fountainhead of mercy infinitely good, deliver from all manner of distress those who entreat your inexpressible mercy. Taking away their ailments, O compassionate one, grant them divine grace from above all. In your mercy and pity, O only God and Savior, you heal spiritual affliction, cure also the bodily infirmities of those who suffer illness. O oh, compassionate one. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. In anointing the heads of all with oil, Lord, impart to it the joy of gladness. For all who seek mercy and deliverance, through your abundant kindness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your seal, O Savior, is a sword against evil forces. And through the prayers of priests, it becomes fire that consumes spiritual sufferings. Therefore, we who have found healing praise you in faith. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. In a manner divine you held in your womb, Mother of God, him who holds all things in the hollow of his hand. And in a wondrous way you gave him flesh we pray you intercede with him for the sake of all who suffer. Savior, in your great and divine goodness, show mercy to all for having seen a foreshadowing of this rite. We provide for the sick anointing with holy oil. In your power, heal them all. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants. In the streams of your mercy, O Christ, and through anointing by your priests, as loving Lord, wash away the pains and wounds and grievous attacks of those worn down by suffering, so that by your cleansing they may find health. Incline from heaven. Wait. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Do not withhold Hold your, your mercy, O Master, decreed for us as the symbol of divine dispensation. The oil of gladness, nor spurn those who fervently care, ceaselessly proclaim. 
All the works of the Lord, praise the Lord. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Your one nature received your divine Son as a glorious crown, surrounding the enemy hosts and taking them by storm. Therefore, crowned in the bright splendor of your grace, we praise you, Lady, the one worthy of all praise. Incline from heaven, compassionate one, and show your mercy to all. Those who draw near to you grant help and strength through the divine chrism, administered by your priests, O loving Lord. Lord Christ, have mercy on your servants, Benevolent Savior, may we by your godly dispensation behold rejoicing the sacred oil which you have provided beyond any merit of the participants and have imparted to them as a sign of divine cleansing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as compassionate Lord, healing by divine grace. Show mercy and pity. Rid your supplicants of pain and suffering, both of soul and body, and protect them from the arrows of the evil one. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. As you accept the prayers and praises of your servants, Virgin most pure, by your prayers release from trying ills and sufferings, all who through us take refuge in your holy shelter. It is truly fitting to call you blessed, O Theotokos. You are ever blessed, utterly pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God the Logos, you are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, most pure, holy blessed, and glorious Lady, Lady the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you they give the glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen and in, Leo, in your mercy, O gracious one, look kindly on our prayers, for today we have come together in your holy temple to, to anoint with holy oil your ailing servants. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the, from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. To you, O God, praise is due. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise 
praise him, O you his host, to you, O God, praise is due. To execute on them the written judgment, this is the glory for all his faithful. Loving Lord, easy to appease through your apostles, you've given your grace to heal with your holy oil the wounds and infirmities of all. Will you now, Lord, in your compassion sanctify and show your mercy to those who approach this soil with faith, purge them of all manner of sickness, and render them worthy of your everlasting bliss. Praise the Lord in his holy places. Praise him in the firmament of his strain. Look down from heaven in your loving kindness, infinite one, and by your unseen hand seal our senses loving Lord to those who turn to you seeking remission of sins grant healing of soul and body through your holy oil so that they may glorify you wholeheartedly magnifying your mind. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for the fullness of his majesty, anointed with your mercy and by your priests, O loving Lord. Touch your supplicants from on high and sanctify them, ridding them of illness. Cleanse and purify them, deliver them from subtle snares. Soothe their pain, ease their circumstances, banish their sorrows, for you are merciful and compassionate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I implore you, greatly praised as the immaculate palace of the King, Purge my mind, sullied by a welter of sins, and render it a pleasant dwelling place for the divine trinity, so that I, your unworthy supplicant, being saved, may magnify your power. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Our Father. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alone swift to help, O Christ, swiftly visit upon your railing servants' heavenly protection. Free them from illness and bitter pain. Raise them up that they may praise and glorify you without ceasing. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O loving God. 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of God's only churches, and for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this only house and for all who entered with faith, reverence and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop and Father Demetrius, the honorable priesthood, the deacons in Christ, for the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president and all in public Lord, service, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. For this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For the people here present, awaiting the grace of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That this oil may be blessed with the manifestation, power, and effective indwelling of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the people of God who have come to this holy sacrament, that God will have reward for them, and that the grace of the Holy Spirit will come upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that day and we may be spared from all affliction, breath, danger, and watch. Let us pray to the Lord. Help Lord, us, save us, have mercy upon Lord, us, and protect mercy. us, O oh God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, most and glorious holy, Lady, the Pale Gold, and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, in your bountiful mercy, you mend the brokenness of our souls and bodies. Will you sanctify this oil that they who are anointed with it may be healed and freed from every ailment of all bodily and spiritual uncleanliness and of every ill, so that in this to your all holy name and be glorified of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alone save to help, O Christ, lift thee, visit upon your ailing servants, heavenly protection, free from illness and bitter pain. Raise them up that they may praise and glorify you without ceasing. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, so loving God. Spiritually blind, mm -hmm. I come to you, O Christ, oh. crying out in repentance, oh. like the man born blind. Oh. You are the effulgent light mm -hmm. to those in darkness. My soul, Tim Sihin Mukirian, and a mighty Espandias, Ke a top is praxesi, Dinos perenimani, a giro in titaiki su epistasia. O sped, que tombar ali toni giras palem, e na crais os sessos menos, e que termondon san cristeto craitisu. As the Lord's disciple, righteous James, 
you receive the gospel. As martyr you possess what cannot be rest away, the boldness of the Lord's brother, the bishop's power to intercede. Will you then entreat Christ our God to save our souls? O Dubatros Monogenis Theos Logos, Epidemis as Proximas Episcaton, Ton Imeron Iacov et Especie, Proton se anedixe ton Ierusalimon, Pimena ke didaskalon, ke pistonikon omon, ton mysterion, ton pneumatikon, othon se pandes, timomen apostolem. Saintly one in mira, you proved yourself a priest, for in fulfilling the gospel of Christ, Venerable one, you lay down your life for your people and save the innocent from death. For this you were canonized as one learned in divine grace. <laughs> Se imper mahoni kumani atlofor in the ethni tropo manon o sun lia u kaisi la stiner paisin en dos taidi o thari na stona stora o tos ayi em megalomatis Dimitriem. Christon ton theon iketevem, dorista este imin do mega eleos. Pandele imon, saintly champion and healer, intercede with our merciful God to grant our souls remission of sins. Sainted on mercenaries and wonder workers, regard our infirmities. Freely you have received, freely share with us. Man of purity, who shall declare your mighty works? For you abound in wonders and are a wellspring of healing, interceding for our souls as one versed in divine wisdom, Christ's beloved. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. Barbara, Antinai, Antimisomen, Ectrugatas paida sinetripse, que os tu thion erisi ex afton, voi thia que otlor, tu stavro i pansem nos. Let us praise the most honorable Barbara, she thwarted the enemy's power. And through the might and strength of the cross, she was made free in her flight to God. Fervent intercessor, unbreachable fountain of mercy and the world's refuge, to you earnestly we cry, Lady Theotokos, come to us and deliver us from all adversity as the only defense for us. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have put our hope in you. Rejoice the Lord, your righteous ones. Wisdom. The reading is from the general letter of St. Saint James. Let us be attentive. As an example of suffering and patience, brethren, Take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, 
we call those people who are steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brethren, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or with any other oath. But let your eyes, but, but let your yes be yes, and your no be no, that you may not fall under, under condemnation. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is any cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick man and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man has great power in its effects. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Luke, let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered right. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him in his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said, the one who showed mercy on him. And Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Look, say glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we ask for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament, that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy of holies, everlasting and without beginning, you sent your only begotten Son to heal all maladies and infirmities, both physical and spiritual. Send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify this oil. To your people who are anointed with it, let it bring full redemption from their sins and inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For you are mighty and marvelous, O God, steadfast in your covenant and your mercy with those who love you, granting release from sins through your divine Son, Jesus Christ. You enable us to be reborn out of sin. You gave light to the blind and raised up the fallen. You love the righteous but pity the sinner. Out of darkness and death's shadow, you have restored us to life, saying to those in bondage, come forth, and to those in darkness, uncover your eyes. For the light of the knowledge of your only begotten Son has illumined our hearts, since for our sake he was manifested in the world and dwelt among us. To all who received him, he gave power to become children of God, granting us adoption through the baptism of rebirth, freeing us from the oppression of the evil one. He did not require 
that we be purified by blood, but gave us the sign of his cross and holy oil, that we might become Christ's flock, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. And he purified us by water, sanctifying us by the Holy Spirit. Master and Lord, impart grace to this your ministry, as you did to your servants Moses and to Samuel your beloved, to John your favorite, indeed to all who have pleased you in every generation. Empower us likewise to be ministers over this oil of your son's new covenant, which you have secured through his precious blood. Thus casting off worldly desires, we may be dead to sin and alive to righteousness, clothing ourselves in our Lord Jesus Christ by anointing with this sanctifying oil we are about to apply. Lord, let it be oil of gladness, oil of holiness, a royal robe, a protective breastplate deflecting every satanic assault. Let it be a seal of immunity, gladness of heart, everlasting joy. Thus will those who are anointed with this oil of renewal become formidable to adversaries as they radiate the splendor of the saints, free of spot or wrinkle, and be admitted to your eternal rest and receive the prize of their high calling. For yours it is to show mercy and to save, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. The Lord is my strength and my song. Chastising me, the Lord has corrected me. Wisdom. The readings from the letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear with the blessing, with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to edify him. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached thee, they fell on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with the Christ Jesus, and together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. And there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and rich, and he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not on account of the crowd because he was small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the Lord. Oh, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great goodness, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we ask for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament, that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Mighty and most high God, whom all creation worships, the fountainhead of wisdom, the fathomless depth of goodness and boundless sea of loving kindness, you loving master, the God of everlasting wonders, whom no human mind is able to comprehend, look upon your unworthy servants and hear us, and wherever in your great name we bring forth this oil, send down your gift of healing and remission of sins, and in your plenteous mercy make us whole. Gracious Lord, easy to entreat, you alone are merciful and compassionate, grieving over our misdeeds, knowing that as mortals our thoughts incline towards evil from our youth, yet not desiring the sinner's death, but rather that he should repent and live. For the redemption of sinners you assumed human form, though God you, be you became created for the sake of the creature. You said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. It is you who sought the lost sheep, you who searched diligently for the lost silver coin and found it. You declared, him who comes to me I will not cast out. And so you did not detest the harlot when she washed your precious feet with tears. You said, as often as you fall, arise, and you will be saved. And again, there is joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. Loving Master, look down from your holy sanctuary on high. And at this hour, draw us together, sinners and unworthy servants, under the sheltering grace of the Holy Spirit. Abide in these, your people, who, aware of their own failings, yet draw near in faith, accepting them in your compassion, whether they have transgressed in word or deed or thought. Forgive them and purge them of all guilt. Abiding in them, preserve them the rest of their lives, so that they may no longer be an object of joy for the evil one, and that in them your all holy name may be glorified. By the grace, mercy, and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord is my light and my Savior. The Lord is the defender of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from the first letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Now, brethren, you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then workers of miracles, then healers, helpers, administrators, speakers in various kinds of tongues, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles, do all possess the gift of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but earnestly desire the higher gifts. And I will show you a more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but I have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the holy gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, Jesus, having called his 12 disciples, sent them out, charging them, go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and preach as you go, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You receive without paying, give without paying. To thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and remission of the sins of the people of God. 
all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament, that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord of hosts, Master Almighty, you chasten but do not mortify. Rather, you sustain those who fall and raise up those who are crushed. We beseech you, our God, as the one who cures us of bodily afflictions, bring your mercy to bear on this oil and on those anointed with it in your name, that it may affect healing of their souls and bodies, cleanse and rid them of every illness and weakness, every defilement of flesh and spirit. Yes, Lord, send forth from heaven your healing power, touch the body, check the fever, soothe the pain, banish any hidden malady. Be the physician of these, your people. Raise them up from their bed of pain and suffering. Restore them to your church, healthy and sound, pleasing you and doing your will. For yours it is to show mercy and to save us, O Christ our God. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. On the day I will call upon you, O Lord, hear my prayer. Wisdom. The reading is from the second letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and move among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from them and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch nothing unclean. Then I will welcome you and I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit and make holiness perfect in the fear of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, Jesus entered Peter's house, and he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she rose and served him. That evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons, and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Now when Jesus saw great crowds around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. And a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their own dead. And when he entered the boat, his disciples followed him. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, peace, health, salvation, visitation, remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament, that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Good and loving Lord, compassionate and merciful, great in mercy, rich in goodness, Father of compassion and God of all consolation, you've empowered us through your holy apostles to cure the ailments of the people by oil with prayer. Will you prescribe this oil for healing of those anointed with it, 
for relief from distress and those who await your salvation. Yes, Master, our Lord and our God, we entreat you, Almighty One, to save us all. As the only physician of souls and bodies, sanctify us all. As healer of every malady, heal these your servants. Raise them up from the bed of pain in your merciful goodness. Visit upon them your pity and compassion, that being uplifted by your mighty hand, they may serve you with thanksgiving, that even now, sharing in your ineffable love, we may praise and glorify the author of great and wondrous things, glorious and extraordinary. For yours it is to show mercy and to save us, our God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. You, Lord, shall safeguard us. Save me, O Lord, for the pious man has ceased to exist. Wisdom. The reading is from the second letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. We do not, do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly, unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Why? We felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He delivered us from so deadly a peril, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he will deliver us again. You also must help us by prayer, so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessings granted us in answer to many prayers. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Lord said this parable, The kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten maidens who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those maidens rose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall come. The says, Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we ask for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord our God, you chasten but in turn heal. You lift the beggar up off the ground and the indigent off the trash sheep. Father to orphans, haven to the storm-driven physician of the ailing. You gently bear our infirmities and endure our afflictions. You show mercy with cheerfulness. You pass over our iniquities and nullify our wrongdoing. Quick to help, slow to anger. You breathed on your disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. You accept the repentance of sinners and have authority to pardon countless and grievous offenses, granting healing to all who must endure debility and lingering sickness. Even me, your lowly, sinful, and unworthy servant, caught up in a welter of transgressions, 
and wallowing in unseemly thoughts, you have called to the sacred and lofty order of the priesthood, enabling me to enter beyond the inner veil into the Holy of Holies, where the holy angels look, long to look and hear the covenant voice of the Lord God, and behold with their own eyes the presence of the holy oblation and delight in the divine and sacred liturgy. You have judged me worthy to mediate your heavenly mysteries, to bear gifts and offerings for my own sins and for the failings of the people, to intercede for your spiritual flock, that through your great and ineffable love you might blot out their iniquities. Will you, most gracious King, hear my prayer at this hour and on this holy day, and at every time and place, and give heed to the voice of my supplication? Heal these your servants, ailing in both soul and body, granting them forgiveness of sins and pardon of their transgressions, whether of their own free will or unintended, treating their incurable wounds and all manner of illness and disorder. As you touched the mother-in-law of Peter and the fever left her, and she got up and served you. So, Master, grant that these your servants also a cure and relief from strength, sapping, suffering. Be mindful of your abundant compassion and mercy. Remember that human nature persists towards evil from youth, and that no one is to be found sinless on earth. For you alone are without sin, having come to redeem humankind and free us from the bonds of the enemy. If you were to enter into judgment of your people, none would be found free of stain. Every mouth would be sealed, having no defense to make. For by contrast to yours, all our righteousness is but a squadlet remnant. Therefore, Lord, do not reckon to us the sins of our youth, for you are the hope of the hopeless. Rest to those who toil and are heavy laden with sin. And to we give glory as to your fathers from everlasting and your all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, have mercy on me in the greatness of your love, a spotless heart create in me, O God. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us have no self conceit no provoking of one another, no envy of one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any tre trespass, you who are spiritual should restore him in the spirit of gentleness. Look to yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, it is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we ask for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians, who have come to this holy sacrament, that they may be forgiven their every transgression 
whether or not of their own free will. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, Lord, our good and loving God, healer of our souls and bodies. You bear our infirmities easily, by your stripes all are healed. You are the good shepherd who went in search of the stray lamb, who offers comfort to the faint-hearted and life to the broken of heart, who cured the woman with a 12-year issue of blood, who freed the daughter of the Canaanite woman of a fearsome demon. You forgave the two debtors what they owed and gave pardon to the woman taken in sin. You bestowed healing on the paralytic along with remission of his sins. You justified the publican with but a word and accepted the thief at his dying confession. You took upon yourself the sins of the world and nailed them to the cross. You we entreat, you we implore, in your goodness, O God, loose, remit, and pardon the offenses of these your servants, their trespasses, whether willful or unintended, committed knowingly or in ignorance, whether by transgression or in disobedience, in darkness or by day. In whatever ways we have become alienated from your will and your holiness, in whatever manner we have erred, as a good and loving God, grant pardon. Do not suffer us to sink into unclean ways or pursue the path of destruction. Lord and Master, in this hour, hear me, the sinner, on behalf of these, your people. As a God who does not harbor memories of evil, overlook all their failings. Deliver them from eternal punishment. Fill their mouths with praise of you. Open their lips that they may glorify your name. Apply their hands to carrying out your commandments. Direct their feet in the way of your gospel. Strengthen their minds and all their members with your grace. For you are our God who th through your holy apostles charged us saying, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. And as you hearken to Hezekiah in his soul's distress at the hour of his death, and did not spurn his prayer, so hearken now to me, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servant, as I pray to you at this hour. For you, Lord Jesus Christ, in your loving kindness, commanded that we should forgive 70 times 7 those who fall into sin. For you lament our wickedness and rejoice when the wayward return. As is your majesty, so is your mercy. And to you do we offer up glory. As to your fathers from everlasting, in your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not. Have pity on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Wisdom. The reading is from the first letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we exhort you, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, Help the weak, be patient with them all. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophesying, but test everything. Hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you wholly, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be with all. Oh, to the Lord, glory to, and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to the Lord, glory to thee. At that time, as Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, "Follow me." And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at table in the house. Behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. 
go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I come not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, health, peace, salvation, visitation, and remission of the sins of the people of God, all the devout and orthodox Christians who have come to this holy sacrament that they may be forgiven their every transgression, whether or not of their own free will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Master, Lord, our God, physician of our souls and bodies, you relieve lingering ailments and heal all manner of disease and infirmity among the people. You desire that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. You do not will the death of the sinner, but rather that he should repent and live. In the Old Testament, Lord, you sent repentance for sinners, for David and the Ninevites, and those both before and after them. But in the new dispensation of your coming in the flesh, you did not call the righteous to repentance, but sinners, like the publican, the harlot, the blaspheming thief, the great persecutor Paul. You accepted and commissioned Peter through repentance, and though as your chief apostle he denied you three times, you proclaimed to him, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Thus emboldened by your faithful promises, good and loving Lord, we pray and beseech you at this hour, hear our prayer accepted as incense offered up to you, and visit your servants. And if they have trespassed in word or deed or thought, by night or by day, remit, forgive, and pardon them, O God, overlooking their iniquities and transgressions, witting or unwitting. And if they have violated your commandments or gone astray, being mortal and living in the world, or ha have been prompted by the evil one, as good and loving God, forgive. For there is no one living who does not sin. You alone are sinless. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Moreover, you did not see, create us to be lost, but to keep your commandments and to inherit eternal life. And to you we send up glory, together with your fathers from everlasting, and your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Good afternoon. In the course of these first few days of Great and Holy Week, through the service of the bridegroom, the church lifts up for us varying examples that remind us of the timed period of preparation that we enjoy in this world. I say timed because our life in this world is simply for a set amount. And, it is, and we are called to live in that timed portion with our mind and our actions and our thoughts set on the timeless life that God has now offered to us through his grace and love by his resurrection. When we fully understand and comprehend this, then it calls us to a point of inner reflection. It calls us not simply to reflect on where it is that we find ourselves on this journey back to God and to paradise, but it calls us truly to seek and search within our hearts and through the examples of last evening when we commemorated the 
sinful woman coming and anointing the feet of Christ and the actions of Judas to search into the depth of our soul and remove through God's grace the darkness. All those things that we seem to think that we have hidden from the world yet still infect our soul. And by infecting our soul, they affect us on our journey towards paradise. So through the prayers of the church yesterday evening, we were called for an emptying, for a digging out. And now, through this service of holy unction, we come to find healing. We come to be made whole through God's grace. The first of the seven gospels that we heard proclaimed in this service is the parable of the Good Samaritan, one that is familiar to us, to all of us, from the time of our childhood. There is a very famous icon of this parable in Mount Athos, one that I have mentioned in years past. But the inn is depicted on the far right-hand corner as a church with open doors because it is in the inn or the church that we find healing. And so there, not simply is the man who was found beaten and left for dead on the side of the road by the Good Samaritan, but there it is that we ourselves lie, beaten and downtrodden by our own sinful behavior that has left us crippled on our spiritual journey. And it is Christ who comes and Christ who lifts us up and Christ who takes us to the open door of his home, of his church, and brings us in. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, we see how the person caring for the individual left dead on the side of the road begins to heal his wounds with oil. And so we too now seek to find healing in God's house and his church. And we come forward and present ourselves for healing by, through the sacrament of holy chrismation, through the sacrament of oil blessed by God. And as we present ourselves, and as we are anointed with the seal of the cross, we pray that this oil not simply heal us from bodily affliction, but we pray that this oil seal that emptiness in our soul now created by the prayerful repentance and freeing of the darkness. And we pray that God now heal us with this oil and pre provide for us the wick to be lit at the resurrection in our heart. In a few moments, I will ask all of us to kneel. And those for whom kneeling is more difficult, simply bow your head and pray. And as I open up the gospel over the heads of all of us, as I lift up on behalf of all of us the prayers of the church asking Christ through the grace of his Holy Spirit, to bring healing upon us all. May we pray for his constant mercy on each and every one of us. May we pray for strength, that when we rise again and stand on our feet, that they be planted firmly in faith and firmly on that straight and narrow and holy path 
that leads to God and leads to timeless life where there is no pain, no sorrow, or suffering. Simply life. Please kneel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy King, compassionate and most merciful Lord Jesus Christ, Son and Logos of the living God, you do not will the death of the sinner, but rather that he should repent and live. It is not my sinful hand that I lay on the heads of these your servants who come to you in their sins, seeking remission of them through me. I ask rather that you extend your mighty hand, whose power is in the holy book of the Gospels, I now hold over your servants' heads, beseeching and entreating your compassionate and forgiving love. O God, our Savior, when David repented of his sins, you gave forgiveness through your prophet Nathan. You also accepted Manasseh's prayer of repentance. Will you now, in your customary love for humankind, Accept your servants, repenting of their transgressions, overlooking all their offenses. For you are a God who commanded that we should forgive the offenses of others, even to 70 times 7. For as your greatness cannot be fathomed, so your mercy cannot be measured. And to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, as to your fathers from everlasting, and your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, position of our souls and bodies, you sent your only begotten Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, healing all infirmity and delivering us from death. Heal these, your people, from the physical and spiritual ills that beset them. And by the grace of your Christ, endow them with life. Through the prayers of our most holy lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless heavenly powers, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and prayers with the apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy healers, the unmercenaries Cosmas and Damianos, Cyrus and John, Samson and Theomedes, Mochias and Eniketos, Pandeleimon and Charmoleos, Talaleos and Trifonos, and our holy righteous ancestors, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. For you are God of the source of all healing, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, and our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the prayers of the holy, glorious, and venerable James, apostle and first bishop of Jerusalem, a barb of the great martyr of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves humankind. Amen. May the blessing and grace of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of us forever. Amen.
Good afternoon. Just a few announcements before you come forward to receive the Holy Akelion. The first is a reminder that tomorrow morning we celebrate the uh, Divine Liturgy of Great and Holy Thursday in which we commemorate the Last Supper of our Lord beginning at 6.15 a.m. here in the main church. Also tomorrow evening for the beautiful service of the Passion of our, Christ, of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, we begin that service at 6.30 p.m. Thank you.